So, so if somebody starts a, a hormone treatment before they get to that stage, before they get to oh. the 70s or 80s, can they maybe ward off some of the issues that you're talking about when they get that, that age? And there is the answer. And if people would understand what Scott is saying right now, that this is how you, the very best thing for a woman, for example, is to catch them in the perimenopause. Mm -hmm. And you can do so much good and hardly have them miss a beat. You know, they're not going to be 20, but who needs to be? A healthy uh, strength and being able to walk and talk and mm -hmm. feel alive and have energy. And, of course, what you're naming, Scott, is the way to do this. I couldn't underline that enough. Catch the women in perimenopause. And if you don't catch them in perimenopause, you can do a lot of good things in, the, in their 50s and even their 60s. I'm talking about the women who haven't had hormones, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of them out there. Um, the World War II generation, there are a lot of them out there in the Korean War generation. And so, okay, well, they haven't had them. Well, you can, you can get some stuff back, things that, they, that matter to them. They can walk. The difference between walking and a wheelchair is a big difference. The ability to, to have a strong levator ani, the muscle that suspends the bladder. When women mm. lose that muscle strength, you know, talk about muscles. This is one of the most important muscles in an elderly woman's body because once she loses that muscle, she starts getting you know, urinary symptoms and she starts getting incontinent, and it's diapers. Mm -hmm. And you know, the elderly women, see, I p see patients of all ages, and I can tell you the problems of the elderly. They hate that. They hate being out in public and having to wear diapers and really being afraid they're going to get incontinent if they cough. Mm -hmm. So the restoration of that levator ani, which is a muscle from androgen replenishing and Kegel exercises, squeezing that muscle. So you can do so much good for the elderly. And yes, catch them early. You, you named it. <laughs> prevention. <laughs> Where have we heard that before? <laughs> An ounce of prevention is worth a ton of cure. <laughs>